Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockeiner. Today's story is fake DDoS extortion. You've probably heard of a distributed denial of service attack. This is when a bad guy uses lots of uh, computer or network resources to take out your website or your network. And often they try to extort you for some ransom to get your website or your internet connection back. In any case, last week Cloudflare released a blog post talking about how uh, bad guys were using fake DDoS extortion emails to get money from victims. Basically, you'd get an email from one of these extortionists saying that if you don't pay 10 Bitcoin, uh, someone like the Armada Collective or Lizard Squad would DDoS your network. So you'd get an email that would say, make sure to forward this to someone that can make decisions. If you don't pay 10 Bitcoin within a certain amount of time, we're going to DDoS you. Now, according to Cloudflare, these are fake emails. They actually contacted some of the customers that got them, and in none of the cases, that they ever see actual distributed denial of service attacks associated with these emails. Now that said, Cloudflare also followed up with a firm that actually can track Bitcoin addresses to kind of see if payments have been made. Long story short, they found over $100,000 of payments to the particular Bitcoin address that's associated with these fake emails. So despite the fact that these bad guys don't seem to be DDoSing any victims, they have made some money from this extortion apparently. So the practical takeaway is simple here. Be on the lookout for these fake DDoS emails. They might start with asking you to forward to someone that can make decisions and warn you that you need to pay 10 Bitcoin, but they probably will not follow up with their DDoSes. That said, even if this were a real email, I actually don't recommend you pay the extortion. There's other techniques you can use to try to survive a DDoS attack, including one of the services that perhaps your ISP supplies. Anyways, it was an interesting story. Make sure not to fall for these fake extortion attempts. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.